One Talk Podcast, Episode 69, for Monday, February 6, 2012. Welcome to this edition of E911 Talk with your host, Mark Fletcher, Pilot Line Manager for Emergency Services at Avaya. Now, here's Fletch. 911, the line is recorded. What is the exact location of your emergency? That phrase is uttered more than 340,000 times each year by public safety call takers. It's a question they should and have to ask on each and every 911 call. Why? Because the mechanisms today for location reporting from the various devices that allow us to be highly nomadic are still based on the correlation of a physical address with a telephone number. Now, back in 1968, that was probably an acceptable logic to follow, and it's worked well in many cases over the past 40-some-odd years. Today, however, the number of devices that exist is skyrocketing daily. The new devices are coming into service are typically smart devices and have much more information to offer public safety than a basic telephone number. The problem is the public safety network today is just incapable of receiving anything other than audio and touch tones. On Friday of last week, there was a bit of a buzz around the 911 community about a new app available in iTunes called Crime Push that would help victims report crimes to the police with a, quote, push of a button, unquote. Reportedly, it was able to send authorities text, photos, sound, and video. But wait a minute, how can it do this when the 911 network only supports voice and has no way of receiving those other media types built into the 911 peace app environment? Unfortunately, as usual, those details were admitted from the story, as they are in many cases. This is the level of hype caused by these applications in the general population, and public safety is standing there without any answer. In the coverage from 911.com, they noted some testing was undertaken by the St. Peter's Police Department. Spokesperson Melissa Daw stated that, quote, when our dispatcher downloaded the app and she entered in the complaint and pressed send, It got lost in cyberspace somewhere. There's a connection missing, and I want residents to know that this is not an app to use yet to report any type of crime because help will not come to you, unquote. Now, I'm not saying that applications like this are bad. What I'm saying is, without the proper vetting of these applications by public safety, citizens will get a false sense of security and actually be putting themselves at further risk. Now, of course, Crime Push has a disclaimer stating that the app is not fully operational and makes a plea for users' help to make this happen. The statement also says that by downloading this application, you understand and agree to these terms. The Crime Push application is not linked nor connected to any police, medical, or law enforcement authority as of yet. By using this application at this time, you will not be assisted for any and all emergency reports submitted. No police department, medical emergency unit, or law enforcement agency will receive a distress message from this application. Should an emergency arise, you should dial 911. Well, that's a pretty scary user agreement, and I doubt many people even read it. The next generation 911 network, once deployed, will certainly enable additional connectivity between peace apps and the carrier networks. But a future side benefit, once that is established, is the intelligent connectivity that will be established between the general public on their smart devices and public safety officials in the peace app. Now, once that's a reality, applications like Crime Push can now flourish and provide their intended additional information on emergent events. I often get asked why we need next generation 911. The answer to that is quite simple, but getting more detailed every day. We need to connect with intelligent data from enterprise networks. We need to connect with intelligent data from automatic crash notification systems. We need to connect with new modes of communication that enable persons with disabilities to be assisted using the same technology as the rest of us. And we need to connect with new devices that can provide all of the above that will allow public safety to do their job better. I'm all for getting the data that we provide to public safety a little more accurate, a little more relevant, and in a form consistent with the way citizens communicate today. Will I ever get to the point where we can change where's your emergency to what's your emergency? Well, unfortunately, no. What I can improve on, though, is the reason why they ask where's your emergency, and that's to confirm what they're seeing is correct and not because what they're seeing is blank. You've been listening to the E911 Talk Podcast with your host, Mark Fletcher, product line manager for emergency services at Avaya. 
E911 Talk is a weekly podcast available on sites like this, as well as iTunes, and is available free of charge. If you have any comments or questions, you can email Fletch at FletcherM at Avaya.com. That's Fletcher, the letter M, at Avaya.com. Be sure to listen in next week for more informative topics on E911.